Hello and welcome to D&D News. Okay, so to start with, I'm going to probably mention this in the next few videos for those people who do not watch these D&D News videos. Um, we're taking a break from Transformers. Because of people we making remakes. What? I mean copyrighted. Sorry. Because we're getting copyright claimed, we put up Bumblebee, and we got copyright claimed. Uh, I'm going to try to fight it. I really hate having to cut out the trailers. Um, I don't think it's right that we can't show you the full trailer of the movie that we're reviewing. Uh, I know a lot of YouTubers have this issue, whether they're doing trailer reactions or whatnot. I just like to show the trailer. A, because I'm promoting the video, the movie to the audience for you to go watch it yourselves. Or to if it's like a series, to show you which movie in the series we are actually reviewing. So, since we're starting to get copyright claimed, just like with Jurassic Park, I'm not saying we won't ever finish the reviews. We're just taking a break for now. Uh, I probably will find a way to get these reviews out eventually, in which case we will finish them. But really, it's a hindrance on not just reviewers who are trying to review this content, but it also puts a mark on the company because, like, right now, I don't want to review any more Transformers movies or any more Jurassic Park movies. Even though a new Jurassic Park just came out last year. A new yes, a new Transformers movie is coming out this year. And I really don't want to review it because I can't make the review the way I normally make my reviews. And promote it to my audience. <coughs> Can we go see the movie? Well, we might, I don't know. Yeah! It depends on money and stuff, but when it comes out on video, we would definitely be reviewing it. So, I don't know. I'm just, I'm a little upset with that. So, for right now, we're just taking a break. Which is fine, because we're moving into June. And we are going to be doing some summertime movies. Good, fun movies that I think Cora is going to enjoy. And hopefully all made for kids. Yep. Some of them are made for kids. Maybe some of them aren't. Uh, I'm trying to convince her that maybe in July we do a shark month thing no! where we do a different shark movie each week because I definitely want her to see the first two Jaws movies. Don't you even I want think her to see it. Deep Blue Sea. No, no. You've never even seen these movies. They're not even scary. They're action movies. I Jaws now. Don't you even think about it. What's so scary about Jaws? What? Okay, stop. Anyways, um, but definitely a lot of movies that we're going to be reviewing over the next couple months are going to be summertime movies. And hopefully we don't get copyright claimed. It's just a risk we have to take. Um, I know we got Lilo and Stitch. I have a little surprise movie in mind. If Cora likes it, we might review all of them. I don't know, but we'll find out when we review those. Um, I'm also thinking of like Heavyweights, uh, Good Burger, you know, movies that the main character is going through a summertime thing. So... I think Cora will really enjoy that, and I I know these are movies I enjoy on some level. But, uh, yeah, so let's see. What else do we have going on? Um, we will be doing Pirate Month again next September. I don't know if this will be the last Pirate Month because... We have the other... I think we have two more Pirates of the Caribbean movies to get through. Yes! And then we have... Yes! Can you not scream? We also have Hook. Yes. I want to watch with her. 
Uh, she hasn't seen it since she was a baby. Um, and then I'm thinking our fourth pirate movie for the month is probably going to be uh, Muppet Treasure Island. What? And maybe if we have time, Cutthroat Island also. What? Which is another good pirate movie. What? But after that, I really don't think we have too much in the way of pirate movies. And they don't come out with a lot of pirate movies. You know, maybe Hollywood should look into that because they really don't have a lot of pirate movies. Not a lot, like a lot of good ones. And Pirates of the Caribbean did so well. Yes, especially Jack Sparrow. And I'm not saying they need to rip off Pirates of the Caribbean, but there's so much more you could do with pirates. Like, they could make a live-action Sea of Thieves movie. People would go see that. Yeah, but it's already kind of fun because of Class of Caribbean. No. Or the Sea of Thieves. That's just content they added into the game because of the movies. They worked it into their game. Yeah, that's because it's so cool. But they could make a actual Sea of Thieves movie with all the lore they have following, you know, like the books and stuff. And if they do, I hope Jack Sparrow would be in it. No. This would be completely separate. This is not... Technically, Sea of Thieves is not part of Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, although it kind of is. The half, half and half can we see Jack Sparrow? Because they did a crossover event. Just like there's not really... Fallout characters in Minecraft, but they've done a Minecraft thing or Nightmare Before Christmas. That's not really in Minecraft, but you got those characters or you got those building things if you pick that certain thing, that it's, certain build. Well, also, Fallout also exists, at least in my type of Minecraft that I have. Also, it exists in a Texo pack. Yeah. So, anyways. Um. As for gaming, uh, I just recently finished Resident Evil 1. Uh, so now we have Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 2. The I mail portions, I'm thinking that at some point I might let this little one take on Resident Evil The Girl Paths. Don't you even think about it! Why? You know, Resident Evil was one of the first games Daddy ever played on a, well, aside from regular Nintendo, once I moved up to, like, it, better video game consoles, like PlayStation, that was one of the first PlayStation games I played. The very first was Metal Gear Solid, and then it was Silent Hill, and then it was Resident Evil. It was technically the third game I played. Then you lied when you said first. What is going I said it was one of the first. One but, of the first. But they could Meaning it was in my first five. But there could only be one first. Yep, and the first, very first one was Metal Gear Solid. In my opinion, one of the greatest PlayStation games there was. No, the greatest PlayStation games was Minecraft. No, Minecraft didn't exist during PlayStation 1's time. I'm talking... PlayStation 1, the original PlayStation. But it was just called PlayStation. It, it's still a great game for kids. Yeah, but that's not... <laughs> Can you stop? Okay. This is serious. Alright, so anyways, um, like I said, I'd like to have her try that. She said she did. I mean, she might change her mind once again. She changes it quite back and forth on this one a lot. Uh, she did say she wanted to try uh, to live stream the original Five Nights at Freddy's game before the new movie comes out. She's super excited for the new movie. So I may let her live stream that um, and see if she can beat the original Five Nights at Freddy's. Hopefully we'll see the first night. Just Aren't you supposed to make it through five nights, though? Yeah, but... It's just a game, and, but... And the only scene I'm hoping for is if I can at least get past the first night. And, um... 
As for other games, I don't know what exactly we'll be live streaming over the summer. Um, I might, there's a couple games coming out that I really would like to try to live stream. There's one that's coming out this month that I'm really looking forward to. Uh, it's called The Grey Hills Incident. It looks really good. I am really into, like, you know, alien abduction stories and stuff, so. I liked the movie Signs. It was fine. It was a little weird, but I thought it was okay. So, it kind of reminds me of that, but it kind of also feels like something Stephen King-ish. Can I say something, please? What? So, I'm hoping that we would, I mean... Jumping into like some two play games, all we we'll go ahead and finish. We're not, well, we kind of did already finish Security Beach, but I'm thinking that I know that we can go ahead and rewind the parts. So hopefully, then delete all of the parts that are safe parts that I saved. That was my dad. So, and I'm think, and hopefully if my dad will let me, I'll, I'll go ahead and jump back in FNAF, Security Beach, and rewind from the end of us of leaving, I'm going to choose to stay. And I'm hoping that I would do that. I don't know when and how, but I'm just hoping I will. I'm just hoping I don't have to waste stuff from the game all from the start. Well, I was already planning to, at some point, maybe, live stream me playing Security Breach. Since I played most of it the last time. You just kind of sat there, freaking out. Can you stop? I'm going to act professional here. Anyways, um... We are finally over 120 subscribers. I want to thank everybody who has subscribed. And one thing I can't stress enough, um, I just want to go over some guidelines that, I mean, this should be pretty obvious and clear. Any negative comments, like really negative comments, especially ones that have foul language, um, are probably going to be deleted. So, if you're insulting or you're using vulgarity, I'll probably delete your comment. Um, if I don't know what to say to your comment, I might just give it a thumbs up and a like. Like the little, you know, there's a creator option where we can say, oh, we really like this comment. Um, I try to reply to all comments. There are some comments that either I don't feel are directed at me or at us. It feels like people just talking to other people. So I'm not really going to reply to those. And I'll just let you guys discuss things in the comment section. But if you are addressing me, um, we had a recent video where I caught a cheater on Sea of Thieves and somebody commented a negative comment, so I just deleted it. So that's how that works. So if you notice your comment isn't there, sorry, we're not going to keep around negative comments. Um... I will ask that, you know, like I said, I'm giving these movies away whenever we reach a new set of 10 subscribers. And the most important thing you can do if you come across one of these codes, aside from trying to redeem it, which you should, even if uh, you're going through some old videos and you come across one, you really should try to redeem them because I don't know what's been redeemed. I could try to put the code in but then I might end up redeeming it myself and the whole point of me putting them in the videos is that I don't use the codes so what I'm asking is that if you do use the codes 
please, please, please let us know in the comment section if you got it, if it's already been redeemed. That way, anybody else who comes into the video, they will know. And when someone does comment that the code has been redeemed or they got the code and it worked, I will pin that to the top of that chat or to the top of that comment section. So that way, other people will know right away, oh, this code has already been redeemed. Or I can type it into the description of that video that it has been redeemed. So people aren't wasting their time. But there are plenty of codes through past videos. I don't know if they're still good, but definitely keep an eye out for that. Um, okay, so in closing, the last thing I want to address real quick is my book series, The Guardian of Light. Um, books one through five, as seen above Cora's head, they will be out on Amazon uh, and other book forms. They are also available on Audible and iTunes as audiobooks. You can pick up a digital copy. You can pick up, uh, you can pick up an audiobook copy, or you can pick up a physical copy. Book six. I'm pushing. I'm gonna push myself really hard over the summer to get book six done so by the end of September hopefully right before my birthday on September 23rd I would like to release book six which I think is going to be pretty epic um, so if you have not checked out the book series yet this is an epic book series that takes place in modern day in our world where Santa Claus is murdered and the North Pole has to find and recruit a new Santa Claus to defend the light of the world from the forces of evil that want to unleash the darkness which wants to devour the light. That's what the book series is all about. So if you have not yet read this book series you definitely want to check into it before September because book six the last book of this I guess arc because I do have more books planned after I finish this story after I finish book six but they won't be part they will involve all the same characters but they'll be going on totally new adventures if that makes sense so It'll still be continuing on. It'll just be continuing on on a new path. So this path, this portion of the story will end when book six comes out. But a new story continuing on that story will go on beyond that. So I'm gonna for the meantime I'm gonna go by manga and anime rules, which I guess it's an arc. This arc finishes in September. And it's something that if you are a big fantasy fan, I don't think you're going to want to miss out on. Everyone that I've talked to, a large portion of my readers, all say they have loved... I get a lot of people that tell me once they started, they couldn't put it down. They didn't want to stop reading because they got so invested in the story. Which I find surprising. <laughs> you know. I love the story. You know, I wouldn't have created otherwise. But, I'm just shocked that so many people keep coming to me and saying, you know what, wow, I really love how you tell this story. I'm like, wow, thanks. <laughs> but, I mean, it's better, in my opinion, it's better than some of the more well-known stories I won't say which one but I can tell you this my book series has no plot holes I, I challenge anyone to read through these five books well six once book six comes out 
read through the six books and tell me if you find a plot hole. Because I'm pretty sure you won't. I was very... Even though I don't keep a written record, for those who have watched my past videos, you know I'm kind of a... I'm an on-the-fly kind of a writer, you know? I just write. I have it all planned up here. I have it all in my head. I don't really write much down or anything down, really, because I want it to be great. And I also want to keep a... It, it's, it would be too much to try to shuffle through notes and do things so organized. I keep it more organized up here than I could in real life. I'd lose... I'd lose stuff in real life. So, yeah. Basically, by the end of September, though, I want to release both the physical copy of Book 6, the digital copy of Book 6, the ebook, and the audiobook. So, alright. With that said, I'm going to ask you guys once more, with feeling, please like, comment, and subscribe. And with that, we'll see you all in the next review. Bye.